In this lesson, we're going to cover how to create an assignment in Moodle. Now, I've got a sample assignment over here that I want students to complete. And the way that I usually create my assignments is I usually put them on Word document. I will have the points that are allocated for the assignment, the instructions, and the deadline. And I usually want students to complete the assignment by putting the uh, calculations for any problems right underneath the question and then save it and then upload the assignment back to Moodle. So here is a sample assignment that I have. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to save this and I'm going to go ahead and close this and then we're going to move over to Moodle. And we are here back in our course. And what we're going to do here is we are going to scroll down to the location where we want the assignment to show up. And I want the assignment to show up right here under the discussion. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on add an activity. And then we are going to select assignment, which is the first icon right there. And we're going to give the assignment a name. You can put a description if you want to, or you can leave it blank. I'm going to go ahead and include the instructions and the deadline right there. Just copy that directly from the assignment. And I do not want this showing up on the actual course page. I want students to click on the link and then they'll go basically to the assignment page and it'll show up there. Uh, now that I'm looking at it, actually what I'll do is I'm going to call this homework, I'll abbreviate one. There we go. Great. So now that we've got the title and the description, which is basically the instructions and the deadline, what I'm going to do here, and this is just basically a description of the deadline. We actually need to put the deadline um, underneath later on. Next, we need to go ahead and add the assignment or drag the assignment file onto Moodle. So I've actually got the assignment right here in this little folder. It is this one right here, chapter one review, drag and drop. There's the assignment. We can scroll down. You can go ahead and set the deadline for your assignment. And for my particular case, I am going to select October 31st at 4 p.m. Actually, Moodle uses military time, so we're going to go with 1600 hours. There we go. I'm going to disable this right here because I want students to be able to submit basically as soon as they see this assignment. And this is a reminder for yourself if you want to get a notification to remind you to grade the assignment, you can go ahead and set it. I don't need to do that. I'm going to uncheck this right here. The only date that I really want is basically the 31st. And we're going to scroll down here. Uh, maximum number of uploads. I do not want students uploading 20 times. So we are going to go ahead and give them two chances to upload. And this gives you an option right here to select whether you want students to type in the answers or to f submit a file. We want them to submit a file. Maximum submission size is basically how large do you want the file to be. This is a text file, so it really shouldn't be 40 megabytes. I'm going to reduce this to no more than 2 megabytes, which is plenty. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down to grade. And this is a point-based assignment. And if you recall in the instructions, we said this is going to be 50 points. So I'm going to change this to 50 points. For right now, the grading method is going to be simple grading. Later on, if we have assignments that are a bit more complicated, we could actually add a rubric. And perhaps we'll do that in the next lesson. For category, if you recall, we did create categories in an earlier lesson. So we're going to go in and select the assignments category. And we're going to leave everything else blank and we are going to save and return to the course. And there is the sound right there. So when students click on it, it should take them to this page, which will allow them to download the assignment. And um, on their end, when they're ready to go ahead and upload the assignment, they'll have a submit button that allows them to do that. Uh, one more thing I want to show you before we conclude this lesson is basically show you what the homework looks like on the gradebook. So we are going to scroll over to the left and we're going to click on grades. You will see that in the gradebook there is an assignment category and there is an assignment right over here. 
And this basically is the assignment that we just uploaded.